This video demonstrates how to open a TiVo bolt. Uh, you need to open the lid of the TiVo bolt to replace the fan or the hard drive. So the first thing we'll do is we'll look at the top of the bolt. The bolt has basically two parts to the main cover. There's a piece on the left and a piece on the right. The piece on the right is much smaller and you can see it over here. There's a seam going down the middle of the case. And that first piece that we'll remove is actually has no screws in it. So basically we'll just take a flathead screwdriver, pretty small one, frankly. And you're gonna insert the flathead screwdriver in the back. We like to start on the back, um, right at the edge of the uh, little piece of the case, kind of pry it up there. And you'll see it'll lift up a little bit. The clips will detach and the, you're getting a little bit of elevation on the case. Then you kind of push the case to the side and get the screwdriver in the side over there and do the same kind of thing. You might find this a little tougher than we're doing it. We're pretty experienced at it here, but with a little bit of work and a little bit of care, you'll be able to pop it off like that. So then you're gonna to wanna to turn it over to the, get to the front and again, put the screwdriver in and push up on the screwdriver and you basically be able to get that piece released a little bit more and then come back to the top and there are four clips under there. Some might already be off, some might not. If you slide it over, you pop it up and you'll see those little tabs that you just released. Okay, next is on the back of the unit, uh, right above the HDMI port, you'll see a small T8 screw. You need to remove that screw with a T8 screwdriver, obviously. Then you'll see two more screws. They could be T8s or, oh, sorry, three more screws. They could be T8s or T10s. In this unit, they're T10s. Take those three out. Then there are going to be two more screws on the other side. So pop off your access card door. You don't need to take out the access card. This unit's actually an OTA unit, so it has no access card or cage in it. But you'll see two more screws there, same size as the three you just took out. Go ahead and remove those. Okay, then you need to take off the big part of the cover. So the big part of the cover is probably most easily released by inserting that same small flathead screwdriver under this little tab right here. And once you get it under there, we find that you can kind of gently roll off the rest of the lid and just pops right off. That probably again will be a little bit more cumbersome for you at home, uh, but we're pretty used to the, the motion of it from doing it a bunch here. Okay, once you're inside the unit, you'll see that the fan uh, can very easily be removed. And basically all you have to do to remove the fan is first pop off the uh, antenna on the right side of the fan. It's just adhesive stuck on there. Then there are four clips, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see them too well in the video, but you'll see them on your unit. There are four clips, just go ahead and use that flathead screwdriver to pop the clips back. You do not need to take the two screws out beside the fan to replace the fan, it's just the clips. So fan comes out, pull off the power adapter, and then uh, when you're ready to put your new fan in, you can just basically watch for the four posts there. They fit into what look like screw holes in the fan. The fan will snap back into those clips. Go ahead and make sure you connect the power back up, and then you'll want to stick that antenna back on the side of the new fan. If you're here to change your hard drive, not much more complicated. There's just one more screw. Again, that's generally a T10. Get that screw out pick up the hard drive and you kind of rotate it over, then you'll pull off that big connector, which is the power and the data in one SATA connector. At that point, you'll see the uh, drive basically has four screws holding the bracket on there. And you take those four screws off. And you probably wanna have your new hard drive right here when you're doing this so that you can get the orientation right. It makes it a little bit easier. Basically, you just move the bracket right over to that new hard drive and put it on the same way. Always be gentle with the screws on these hard drives. And once you get those four screws back on, 
pretty simple to reinstall. The first part of reinstalling it is to get that data and power connector back attached nice and firmly into there. It'll snap into place. Then you're gonna rotate it back down, line up the drive. I think you'll see there are little posts where some of those holes fit from the drive bracket and then obviously put that one screw back in. Okay, drives back in, fans back in. Now we're ready to put the case back on. We're gonna start again with the big part. So we're working at the left side here. To make sure the two antennas on the left side of the unit are uh, nicely aligned, they can sometimes come off a little bit. So start there with the lid, get it back into place, and then work it over to the other side. It should snap down pretty well. And you'll tell by the seam there, once that seam looks good, you know that you got the lid back on pretty well. Uh, then you can go ahead and put your five screws back in. So again, it's three over on this right side. And then when you flip the unit over, you'll see there are those two that were inside the access card door. These ones go a little deeper. Okay, then you can put your access door cover back on. Then you've got the small part of the case, the small part of the lid. Just line that up nicely. It really should pop right back on. Should fit pretty cleanly. Frankly, sometimes these come out of the box brand new, not looking like the cleanest fit. This actually looks like a pretty good one. Um, then you're going to go ahead and get that T8 screw and screw that back in over the HDMI port. And you're complete. Your bolt is back assembled.